today on this edition of my channel. This is an important topic that has to be discussed because it's a common occurrence in everyday aviation. Coming right up next here on the Mike McCarty Show. Good day, <clears throat> everyone. How y'all doing? Thanks for stopping by, tuning in as always. So forgive me of, uh, I should say once again, doing a video like this, but I'm currently dashing. So bear with me uh, real fast before I get into the topic at hand. So a couple weeks ago, I uh, got a new phone, well, actually two new phones. Long story short, uh, got a duplicate. The, the first phone was a duplicate um, after the original phone messed up on me, malfunctioned, uh, blacked out, and when trying to see what was wrong with it to try to fix it, I was told, oh, it's no longer good anymore. You can either, that happened on a Friday. It's like you can either wait Saturday the next day to have a duplicate mail to you. Or wait till money to get a new phone or whatever. So, and since I had insurance to cover it, it was all good. I was like, nah, let me get a, a duplicate phone the next day in the mail. So, what ended up happening was I got the new phone the next day in the mail, but the rest of Friday using my tablet as backup to the DoorDash on. Yeah, any mobile device you can use an app on to do what, what have you. So, do whatever. Um, I get the, the duplicate phone and I um, needed assistance with it. Uh, I got it, well, when I finished Saturday night, whatever time Saturday early today came. So, I needed assistance with it uh, Sunday when I went to a different phone, Verizon store, because I have Verizon and the store I went to to see what was wrong with my original phone. Um, I wasn't in that area. So basically I was in an area to get a change of Siri to dash elsewhere. Benny will go to my home store well, where I live in Clayton. First time actually ever going to that store. I used to go to the one in Smithfield. But uh, to you know have them turn on the phone for me or whatever to get assistance, a duplicate phone I'm talking about. And I was told that, well, LG does no longer make any phone, blah, 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 whatever. I thought I was told at the Smithfield store last year when I even got the original phone. And that the original phone, I were to, to mail back for parts. It came in via FedEx. So mail it UPS or back to FedEx and for working lines. Um, so I my mother, she went there for defensive driving training because she works at FedEx Express, uh, their plane old station. But anywho, um, I already, so what, what, what ended up happening was, what had happened was, was that I ended up upgrading to this phone here. It's a Motorola phone outside of an LG. And the process with that was it took forever for as far as the transaction to go through of me upgrading, even though I already upgraded. And plus, when I first walked in that Verizon store, no AC was working. They said, kind of fine. So it was two double troubles going on right there. And they said, but you're good as far as you being upgraded. It's just the transaction is not going through in our system right away. So it will take up to 24 hours or whatever. So, like I said, I already, uh, not Sunday, Monday, uh, that next week, mailed back in the, the original LG phone for parts, and I still have the duplicate LG phone, which the Clayton Verizon store told me that I can, uh, I can uh, 
trade that went in, but I haven't yet. Um, I haven't done anything with the phone yet. I thought I parked it as far as like, you know, as an extra camera phone or whatever, video or something to take pictures, whatever. So that's on that note with the new phone or new phones or whatever. And also to again, y'all please check y'all two step verification, whatever on y'all's YouTube channel and stuff. Probably other people still getting hacked, and I'm saying it too from experience. It hasn't happened to me yet, but also the week after that, my Dasher account gets hacked. Yeah. Um, I was out doing pickup orders and merchants were playing games, and then I get to a place, pick up place, Pet Smart or whatever. And I get a phone call from Dasher support and saying, hey, you know, we need verification. Your customer is trying to call me. I didn't get no notifications about my customer trying. My customer trying to call me, whatever, about trying to add more items onto this Pets Mart Pets Food order. And about verification, we need new search. And I'm like, wait a minute, let me check and see what's going on and come to find out my account information for bank information gets wiped out with the hacker's information put in there, he or she, or he, she, or whatever. So I had to switch everything back up. Then I thought, okay, then I thought my bank account got hacked because I got a link from hours ago before that even happened uh, from my bank, what I thought it was at first. So I went to my bank uh, the following week after that. And they said, nope, that wasn't from us. That was a hacker. That was a scam. So, all right. Enough of all of that. Attention YouTube and fellow pilots and fellow aviation enthusiasts. I had two aviation challenges. Hashtag TMCSC. TMCS, yes, C. Challenges. How aviation has changed your life and say the phonetic alphabet in 30 seconds or less. If you can please do me a huge favor of accepting these two challenges and then doing a response video to them, I would greatly appreciate that. So, uh, this, to, I'm just not, I'm not going to go in depth with it, like maybe future as far as like calculations and stuff, but this is really important on why weight and balance is, is just, is this all safety in everyday aviation. Um, yesterday mentioned on DL show, shout out to him, DL Hughley, uh, to celebrate a 21 year anniversary of Aaliyah's passing, and I'm using that as an example of why this is so important, again, in everyday aviation. Because if you don't do your calculation, now this is not her fault, this is the pilot, her pilot's fault of getting their hiatus, uh, get their hiatus to loading up the plane to the maximum weight or beyond the maximum, exceeding the maximum weight for takeoff, cruise and landing or what have you just take off all together you know because we're getting airborne to you know the, for the crash like that and them all being killed and everything so you know just do your calculate like i said i'll in a future video another video do uh what calculations and stuff are a way to balance but you know an rp to anyone else celebrities or non-celebrities who has going through such tragic uh, events like hers. Such tragic events like hers. And yeah, I'll just all I'll say, all I will say is again, make sure you do your calculations correct. Because um, if you don't, even with this, the outsuit, what I'll again get into in another topic on another video. But, you know, if you decide to just load up your crew you know your luggage and everything and you just decide to take off and think it everything is okay but well, what's going to happen is you're going to be rolling much longer on the runway and you'll then soon come find out that your climb rate is going to be peanuts and then next thing you know you were like, oh crap, my airplane isn't climbing as it should. And it just crashed the airplane. So, you know, just keep that in mind. But, all right, I'm not going to hash on any long. Like I said, I just wanted to briefly discuss why this is very important in everyday aviation. From my channel, 
to your channel. Salute. Oh yeah, if you enjoy my channel and video, check out these channels and videos.